The centrality of relationship building is really the heart of community engaged art. We're not making art in isolation, like some kind of lone genius off in a studio somewhere, but within the context of community and for community and about community. Collaboration is not the goal in itself, neither is the creation of a product. The goal is to collaborate to create art together. The art is shaped by the relationship and the relationship is shaped by the art. So the artistic outcome is a representation, if you will, of relationship. The core idea is to build a foundation of participatory, inclusive, interactive, and respectful ways for lots of different people to meet, work together, and express themselves through arts projects. I like to, um, when I do my artist ceremony, it's, it's more about the process than it is about the product. And um, I like to say process over product, progress over perfection, right? So it's like taking one step at a time. And so I thought to myself, what am I afraid to crack open, right? I'm afraid to crack open my heart sometimes, right? Because it hurts, and then it feels really good, and then it hurts. <laughs> but that means I'm feeling something, right? As being somebody who uh, will talk about mental health issues, that that's a part of mending. You like to, you know, you're, it's this organic thing that if you've got mental health issues, it's an organic thing. It's not something that ends or you get over type of thing. So that the craft and the art of uh, creating and mending really started to make sense. Like once, uh, once my daughter passed because it was visible mending is what I was doing, but also visible mending was what I was doing. So, you know, I, I did feel a lot of that shame he was talking about, it took me a long time to, uh, you know, feel comfortable in my own skin, I guess, you know. Uh, my mother, uh, um, you know, she sat me down when I was six years old and she told me that, you know, she changed my last name because she felt it would be easier in life for me to, you know, not identify as an Indigenous person. And I think you know, even my grandmother used to say, you know, I'm going to have to work ten times as hard to get half as much. And I think, you know, the matriarchs of my family telling me, um, you know, it's going to be hard and I should essentially, you know, hide who I am. You know, that, that does a lot. I think uh, to, to, to a kid, but I think, you know, so for, for me to take, uh, you know, Ace and Abby, that's my family name. So... That's my artist's name, but it's also, you know, it's a big part of my journey to kind of reclaim that, you know, f the times that they were growing up were much different than the times that I'm growing up. That I can sit here and say, I'm OG Cree, I'm Mason Abbey, and I'm proud of that. that that's a huge, uh, you know, a huge step forward from, from the times that they grew up. So. Oh, do I blame it on this race, this feeling? Oh, blame it on.
no medics be raised. See, I've been here for too long, but I only got myself to blame. Only God, I 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 got myself to blame. Oh, no, no, no. I, I also don't really think too much about being remembered. I'm more concerned with the, what the work that I'm doing is doing good. And if I were to be remembered for anything, it would be that. I'm like the complete opposite. I want to be remembered. Like, I want monuments and like a clothing line. And I'm, like, but I'm just kidding. Well, not, I'm half kidding, but not really. I, I'd like to be remembered as an educator. I, I want to be remembered as someone who left behind tools that people can use to help transform and change and teach themselves. For, for me personally, like the border crossings that I've kind of uh, crossed throughout this journey, uh, I feel is just allowing myself to embrace being an artist and being called an artist and being able to share my gifts with people and the community and wherever that journey takes me i'm i'm happy to do that one of the things that really stood out to me was how you spoke about um t uh, taking care of self and then taking care of the community and like that to me really resonated because a lot of times people think that if they lean on the community enough that it will heal themselves but it's such a reflective and a connective uh, way in which like a relationship that's being built back and forth in that way and I feel like each and every all, all of the people up, uh, like you guys have all spoken on um, being able to impact the people around you and to be able to hold spaces uh, brave spaces safer spaces um, to be able to connect to that and to be able to like see each and every one of you have that it, it really came um, to sense of Self. The Border Crossings Project celebrates the Art Gallery of Mississauga's commitment to bringing people and communities together using art as a common denominator. During the course of this project, diverse community groups and individuals in the greater Mississauga area engaged with ideas of self-representation to share stories that were personal and powerful. Opening lot lived histories and realities for better understanding. Connecting our past to our present, these stories highlight, reinforce, and challenge both traditional and contemporary worldviews as they relate to our relationships, to land, to one another, by sharing and connecting. And I realized this was a really great tool because I could teach the young people about their culture while they're learning to paint and uh, putting work out into public space because it was giving them a sense of pride that they're handiwork was there being um, appreciated by the public and it didn't matter if it was indigenous public or if it was settler public, it doesn't matter. It, the, the fact is that this was a kind of a, a way to repair uh, their self-esteem, a way to, you know, get a handle on, uh, you know, their, their self-image as an indigenous person that they no longer had to hide uh, their indigeneity in public spaces and it was important for me as an artist kind of like a breakthrough happened at that time you know I've been producing art for a long time since I was a kid and I've done all kinds of artwork but the public space work uh, really was important to me because I realized that this was something that our whole community needed it wasn't just myself so you know, a lot of people, you know, when they think about artists, they just think about these individuals making art and then they're coming out, they're not doing anything for the community. But from what I've seen, most artists in our community are doing things for our community. They're really trying to promote our culture, our identity, our stories, our way of life. And they're repairing a lot of the damage that colonialism has done over the last 500 years.